Good morning, this is Christy, and thank you so much for coming to my Be The Light YouTube channel and giving me your love and support. I send it right back to you today, tomorrow, and always. Um, I was given a phrase, and it could have been a couple of weeks ago, a month ago. Um, the exact time is not known to me at this very moment. It's in my journal, but um, I heard transcend into your higher self. Um, and this is how it works for me. Um, I resonate with God and I speak with Him. Um, and um, He has been guiding me along my journey. Um, he has given me um, signs as to where I am and where I am going. Um, it used to be in the very beginning that He would tell me my progress um, or the stage that I am um, headed to and it would take me months to get to that point um, and understand it because I was so new and in that real true learning, shedding, and growing phase. Um, I have done a lot of growth within the past year and a half. Um, I am so proud of my progress. I have really dedicated myself to this. It is so important to me. Um, it's like breathing for me. It is so essential to who I am now um, because it is who I am. And so from time to time, he will either show me what is going to be taking place in images or giving me words and phrases. So this was one particular one. And so that was him telling me that I am transcending into my higher self. And um, that in itself means that you are going beyond the normal or physical level of your self even your higher self, okay, because he used higher self as well. Um, and I am not showboating about this. I know who I am. You know who you are. You know how much work you have done, and I have done a lot, like I have expressed. It's so important for me to make sure that I am my best self because I know where I used to be. And I am not going back to that, ever, ever. <laughs> so I am really, really proud of myself, um, but I am humble about my, uh, my progress as well. Um, I know it has taken great work, great healing, and um, great guidance because I wouldn't be here if God were not guiding me along my journey. And so I thought I did this video um, a long time ago uh, because of uh, about the, the male and female energies um, to creating balance. Um, and that is what is, has been taking place for about a week uh, because of the February energies and so today is the the last day of the 2222 gateway I just wanted to throw that out there um, and so what has been taking place is you know we have our chakra system and we have them and they activate as we begin to think differently feel differently um, act differently we already are beginning to activate our chakra system. That doesn't necessarily mean they will create balance. That doesn't necessarily mean they will continuously activate in their proper um, way that they're supposed to. It takes you going over and beyond just the normal things of, you know, exercising, eating healthy, um, thinking positive and things like that. It means going with a purpose and going within to heal yourself of all of the brokenness that you have collected through your own existence, 
along with what has been handed down to you. And as we begin to activate it and they are finally rotating simultaneously, um, you have your feminine chakras and you have your masculine chakra system. So, you know, your feminine could be going um, uh, a little faster because that's what takes place. Your, your feminine um, energy actually circulates or rotates, spins um, about 3.5 seconds faster or whatever they called it um, compared to the masculine energy that which is only rotating and moving about 1%. And I believe uh, the way that it actually goes is that the woman, the, ma the female energy is more of a, a swirl, more flowing um, because we are feminine and um, we are more fast paced. We can get a whole lot more done um, in a short period of time. While the masculine energy is a little more straight lined, narrow, we have to go this way and we have to do things just right and they do it at a slower paced level. Um, and so the balancing act has been taking place where your, your chakra system are now trying to sync up together. So not only do you have your feminine chakra system and the energy within you, whether it's your left and right brain, left and right side of your physical form as well, trying to create balance within your entire crystalline and light body right now. You um, are trying to sync up with the male energies that have already created balance within themselves. This can be a, <laughs> um, a symptomatic time now for um, a lot of people. Um, and so I'm going to go back to my message. When the two are in balance, that's when transcendence occurs and the code is complete, unlocking you to other dimensional realities. So that's what God was re relaying to me that I am transcending into my higher self, which means the divine feminine and the divine masculine are creating balance. And he has shown me that that's what was taking place just a few days prior to those activations beginning to take place. Um, And so when our energies are off balance, and I'm going to go specifically with the, the masculine energy, it feels overly strong. It overcompensates. Um, so if you're an individual who has to, who is, um, again, has that, that strong structure, and you can still be a female and feel this way, okay? Um, where you feel that you have to be that structure within your your home, your household, wherever you are, your workstation, and you have to be that go-to person that has everything figured out, you know it all, um, and you're that rock, um, and you're hardened by it. Um, it's it's you know we sit, we tend to think that that's a good thing, but it isn't. It um, you're it's overactive and um, you know how it is when you have that placed upon your shoulder where everything is on you regardless if you're the male or a female in your household and you feel this way it becomes a nuisance it creates that imbalance within you your mind and your heart it's heavy and you can't get a grip on reality in a sense and when this takes place when you are it out of balance within overactive or underactive you are attracting the same circumstances around you again because what's happening around you is to tell you what is at an imbalance within you um, so the masculine en energy, when it is um, imbalanced again, is kind of like 
showing a false strength um, because you're actually being pressed into this strength you know you're you're using that strength as a cover up as to what is really underlying um Okay, and I won't really go into um, the female imbalance because, you know, you, you can do your own research on that. But um, something that I have noticed within myself um, is that my, my left side of my, my body is becoming stronger. I can now more easily open a container with my left hand than I can with my right hand. And that is because the female energy channel is on the left side of the body and the masculine channel is on the right. So, um, and if you have ever noticed that you are more sensitive to pain on the left or right side, this is an indication as to what is at an imbalance. And you can go from there to um, start correcting. My left side has been my weakest. Um, it's where most of my um, um, sciatica pain was my nerve damage was created there on that left side um, so there's that and the masculine energy is our solar system and it symbolizes the Sun and the feminine uh, symbolizes the moon um, and the contrast between the two allow for the birth of creation so there you go when you create balance within these the masculine and the feminine energies within you you are a creator and this is another message that was relayed to me um, by God that he said that I could be I can be a creator um, and this is how I can be a great creator by creating this balance within me because nothing outside of you will exist that you actually want until it exists within you um, so you know the goal here is to bridge the gap between the energies here and when you create that balance within your energy you're more able to attract not just the things that you want out of life but the same energetic being as yourself your counterpart and then when that takes place a different type of experience um, is is capable when you actually attract your your twin your true twin flame um okay so i am going to end it on um um on this that we are creating balance within ourselves and by doing that we are creating balance within this universe the the um, new male energy is going to be very sensitive not very sensitive but sensitive and um, and the female energy is going to be a, a goddess you know she is going to be strong and confident um, yet delicate and sensitive and loving and nurturing so um, this is happening as a collective and this is how the new earth is going to exist this is Christy much love health and healing your way I am bringing purpose to your life take care